1922, y'all. Now, I know there's a lot of dreamers out there. <laughs> I think it's about time you woke up. Ladies and gentlemen, kick back, relax on my couch. I wanna take a second, introduce myself, cause I'm the F to the R, the E, the U, D. Siggy Freud in the house, come on, you know me. I bet you think you know what I got to say. Like you're in love with your mother and everybody is gay. But no way, there's more to me than all the rumors you heard. It sounds absurd, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. So let's begin with this woman I knew. Came into my office up out of the blue. Said the other night that she was doing this dude He wore protection, but I knew she never wanted him to When they were through You know she up and passed out The situation manifesting what she's dreaming about She said she's running through the streets Being chased by police She said that she was breathing heavy Like when she was between the sheets Gets to her house, closes the door Rushes up the stairs to her flat on the fourth floor Makes sure that every entrance is locked Wants to know that Officer Red Cap has been stopped after a second she decides to peek out Peering through the peephole So there ain't no doubt about What she thinks she's hearing as she stood there peering She saw the man was sitting on a bench Eyes straight tearing So Siggy please tell me why did the guy cry Hold up calm down I'll explain it to you no lie So when you slick the man started to weep Well these are latent dream thoughts And they're hidden mad deep The heavy breathing in your chest represents sex You blocked him from coming in Like he did with the latex The thing about the crying is that you were upset In the dream the man was crying Cause we tend to project another thing Theory about the weeping, as you probably bet, is that the officer's tears were the man's ejaculate, uh. And with that, I sent the woman on her way. Told her she would live to dream another day. Of course, the girl was grateful and she wanted to repay. I said it'd be okay if I could put this in my essay. Ha! And that's how Freud came through. Cause that's what I do, right? Alright, I got another case study for y'all. This one, uh, <laughs> this one gets a little freaky. I know there's a lot of psychos out there. I guess you can just call me the analyzer. <laughs> Another day. Another dream of dreaming dreams, it seems Another woman wants analysis from me I sit her down and say I'll try to understand If she could start from the beginning where she knows the dream began The lady's old, got some years under her belt That's why she's so conflicted about the feelings that she felt When she had this dream, it wasn't time of war She arrived at a hospital she'd been before She said she'd volunteer to the guy at the door The word she used was services, but he knew that she meant more He took her inside, showed her the guys She tried to tell him her intentions But to her surprise, every time the conversation Reach a sexual part The dialogue was mumbled and muffled and falling apart But Siggy, I don't get it, what does it mean? My love service is mumbled, why not talk about it in my dream? Well hold up, I can break this down You know you came to me cause I'm the very best around I'm thinking that the mumbling is censorship Blocking out the parts that aren't appropriate you're an old woman trying to do young boys So you suppress all that and turn the dialogue to white noise Deep down, well you just wanna do your part It's a sense of duty, not erotica that fills your heart The old lady was impressed No longer did she feel so stressed She said the next time that she would undress She would be doing it in her dream I said I think that's for the best Then she left, another case on the book So next time you think about giving Freud a dirty look You better think about the robs I just spit The psychoanalyzer you best not forget Cause I'm the man to break it down bit by bit I'm the F-R-E-U-D and that's it Peace!